Hello. Now we are going to talk about projects as options in project portfolio management. And I try to connect the idea of how projects can be considered as options with this kind of a picture, this kind of an animated picture. Um, well, we can have a decision tree where there are decision nodes and event nodes. And when the project progresses, we don't necessarily know what kind of futures we have ahead and what is the actual outcome. And the more uncertainty there is with respect to the uh, distribution of potential outcomes, uh, the more uh, the option is worth. So if we don't know what kind of uh, futures there are ahead of us, we might want to invest in projects uh, by being prepared to take on uh, those uncertain futures. For example, if there are uh, several possibilities of which technology would become dominant in the market, we might want to invest in various technology development projects and be prepared for many of them. And in this way, we might uh, want to kind of buy options by initiating projects that take us uh, forward and which bring us potential value about future uh, in future business. This picture uh, is uh, from McGrath and Macmillan's study uh, where they uh, suggested that uh, there are uh, three or four different kinds of options uh, that we might consider uh, projects as, as being uh, based on whether there is a high or low technical uncertainty or whether there is uh, high or low uh, market uncertainty in uh, the project and its outcome. Well, uh, the green numbers there, you don't need to mind uh, about uh, them very much, but uh, they are based on uh, uh, McGrath and Macmillan's uh, uh, instrument where they uh, used, uh, which they used to evaluate the technical uncertainty and market uncertainty. They uh, suggested uh, a kind of a questionnaire based approach where uh, the evaluator uh, should answer certain uh, questions by giving points one, two, and three, and so on. And in that way, uh, those uh, metrics would bring, uh, for example, technical uncertainty from 23 minimum to uh, 69 maximum and market uncertainty from 20 to 60 respectively. Okay. Uh, but still, low, medium, high uh, is now the scale here. And uh, if we look at uh, uh, high technical uncertainty and low market uncertainty, uh, where we can consider those projects as positioning options, we can invest in those projects and they are for uh, positioning ourselves uh, into uh, those products uh, and uh, the market uncertainty being not so high so we really can enter, enter the market and uh, bring their uh, new products and uh, be prepared for uh, selling those kinds of products in, in the markets. Well, if we have a high market uncertainty and a low technical uncertainty, these options are then called scouting options. So it is not very difficult to make that kind of a uh, project. Uh, there is not too much technical uncertainty in it, but uh, because 
market uncertainty is high, we use those projects to try to enter those markets and learn from the markets. So that is about what scouting means. Then if we have high technical and high market uncertainty, uh, we can consider those projects as stepping stones. We just take one step at a time and we learn more. We learn more about technologies and about markets and uh, we don't necessarily uh, have a bigger aim than just to uh, move forward and uh, try to understand both markets and technologies and develop uh, us in that. And then uh, what they emphasize is that we must also recognize uh, whether the projects are not options at all, but whether we should uh, go for direct launches. So if we have medium, te technical and medium market uncertainty, then we can call them platform launches, new product families. And if we have low uh, in technical and market, so they can be enhancement launches, so direct product launches, improvements in products. And uh, that is not even a question that they would be options. We just should go for them because the uh, change is so incremental and uh, the uncertainty is so low. Well, Luerman uh, presents uh, a tomato garden model uh, to illustrate uh, the option thinking. And uh, the idea is that the gardener has uh, different uh, areas in their tom tomato garden, different regions, region 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5 and 6. And uh, uh, the tomatoes uh, in those uh, gardens, uh, garden regions are, are of different quality, different characteristics. And uh, the important uh, message here is that uh, according to how uh, the gardener considers to invest in those tomatoes and their further gardening and uh, how he calculates the option value, he might uh, make different kinds of decisions. So for example, in uh, region one, there are ri ripe tomatoes, which means that invest now. Investing now means that uh, making a decision to take uh, the tomatoes and uh, bring uh, them to wholesalers or to shops. Uh, region two, imperfect but edible tomatoes, maybe now. So now he should uh, think about the option about still uh, not uh, collecting the tomatoes now, but uh, uh, putting a little bit more resources on developing them uh, forward to uh, take them to uh, another status and then maybe invest uh, now. But these tomatoes can also develop to either direction, for example, from region two to this region one type of uh, invest now ripe tomatoes, but also to uh, uh, region number three, uh, inedible but uh, very promising tomatoes, uh, or from those other regions, they might uh, come back and imp improve, or they can then uh, uh, even develop uh, until uh, to, to the top left uh, corner of the uh, picture uh, where there is invest never because they are rotten tomatoes. Okay, so uh, region three probably later in edible but very promising tomatoes. Region four uh, uh, less promising green tomatoes maybe later. Uh, region five late blossoms and small green tomatoes probably never and uh, region six invest never. So uh, 
the idea really is that uh, uh, the gardener is not only uh, making uh, decisions, but uh, he, is, uh, he or she is considering and monitoring uh, all the time the op option, options and looking the ways to influence the variables that determine uh, the value of the option. Also, the gardener uh, is uh, trying to affect the outcomes. So that is also important to understand that uh, if he makes a decision that maybe later, so uh, those projects can, uh, or those uh, tomatoes can develop to uh, uh, towards the right of the picture to probably later or maybe now or even uh, to the towards the left of the picture towards probably never or invest never. So uh, this Luermann's tomato garden model uh, was used to try to illustrate the idea of understanding projects as options but now we have here uh, of course the tomatoes tomato gardens and the regions. But the idea really is to um, uh, evaluate the options and their potential future value. Okay, uh, that was all. Um, thank you for uh, being with me and uh, looking forward to seeing you in next uh, project portfolio management lectures. See you, bye.